What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Building the Genesis Coupe and today is finally the day where we pick up the freaking engine. It's been a long time coming, uh, but it's finally done. The engine's fully done, we're gonna go pick it up and honestly, we are very, very close to dropping it in the car. So I'm super stoked and uh, well, nothing left to say, but let's go get this thing. Alrighty guys, we are back at the shop. The engine is on the stand, all safe and sound, and uh, she looks amazing, guys. Huge shout out to Innovation Performance and Repair in Lancaster, PA. Um, Jeremy Gers is the guy who did the engine. Uh, Jeremy, amazing job. Jeremy killed this thing. First things first, the dash is fully back in and bolted on. Now there's still some stuff missing from the dash, obviously the infotainment and all the other stuff that you know goes around it, but the dash is actually bolted in, which is something I've been wanting to do and uh, all the wires are ran then through the dash. So that is good. Thank God that is done with. Uh, it wasn't actually too bad though, but the other thing too, very, very minor, but my secondary push button is now mounted in here. Uh, this is the old cigarette lighter port actually. And it was almost a direct fit. Like I just needed to modify it just a little bit. All the wiring is done. All the new Terminator stuff is run. We did all this in the last episode, but uh, all this needs wrapped and run cleanly and harnessed up. Um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that cleanly with the engine in, but we're gonna go ahead and try to take care of most of that a while so that when we do go to, to drop this in, we don't have to do that. And boom. So, got everything all wrapped up and mounted and kind of ran the way I want it and it's pretty much done. I'd say mostly 90% of this is done. Might have to go back over some things, but got some stuff held in here. Everything's routed nicely. This is solid, mounted to the firewall. So the only two wires we have now are the starter, um, obviously two starter. And then we got the fan relay wire right here. Um, assuming I'm just gonna mount the relay somewhere along here or maybe even on the side of the battery, something like that. But we're gonna get to that with the engine and I think we can do that. But if you're looking at the engine bay now, it looks a whole lot cleaner and I am gonna take care of that stuff too, but looking good. I'm gonna have a video coming on this poor car soon too, uh, explaining what happened and what we're actually gonna do with it. I have to wait and hear back from a couple things, so we're not gonna touch that yet. But now we got the ECU all plugged in. It's not mounted yet, but everything's ran and uh, it's pretty close to being mounted. I have to modify this glove box for us to actually mount it in there. All right guys, so coming down underneath the driver's side of the dash, um, the throttle pedal I actually already deleted, but the harness is still there. So we're gonna take care of that harness. And then the next step would just to be to remove this clutch pedal so that we can install our new master and Reservoir, so we're gonna go ahead and pull that out. It shouldn't be too bad. I think it's like five nuts or something So we're gonna pull that out and put the new master on and hopefully get it back in in a couple minutes. All right, so We are we are deep in enemy territory right now <laughs> And this is gonna take a little bit longer. I think to take out Yep <laughs> Yep, my yep shove a camera right in there. Hold on. Oh, that was like, I was gonna help you. Oh. <laughs> Gotta... All right guys, so we got the old clutch pedal out and we got the old master cylinder out. So here's the old one and here is the Willwood um, upgraded one with the ISR adapter for the Genesis Coupe. So you can see right here, it's going to be a direct swap and uh, should look pretty good and hopefully it's gonna function really good and work the clutch better than this could. I had to grind this down for about 20 minutes today. You can see we took a pretty good amount of material off of there, but it is definitely in now and good to go. So that's taken care of. This can actually be installed again. So, all right, so I'm definitely calling it there. We got some good work done on both the cars. I think it'll be sufficient for tonight. We actually have beds set up here. We're gonna do like a, I don't even know. It's not even important anymore. I'm just going to bed it's freaking late. And we'll get to this uh, swap tomorrow. It's seven in the morning. <laughs> yeah, we just woke up. Evo didn't fall on us every night. Wyatt, how was your sleeping experience? How would you say? Dog shit. Yeah. yeah, it was definitely not the greatest. 
A lot of work to do today though, so that well resting part is gonna probably come back to bite us a little, but I might go back to bed for a little bit longer. Well Hey guys, so the clutch pedal is back in with the master attached. Go, I went ahead and made a custom bracket for this reservoir. This is the reservoir for the clutch only. So we capped off the main one over here and uh, it is looking good. It's looking like a professional install. I'm liking it. Came out really good, wasn't too, too bad. Getting that clutch pedal was bad though. Um, I do have to tighten them up, so I'm gonna do that quick. Um, but you guys seen me struggle with that enough. You don't gotta see me struggle freaking with that pedal anymore. But she is in, which is all that matters. So cool. All right guys, so this video is gonna be all over the place, I know. Um, I've had to run at the stores multiple times a day. We've been running around, grabbing parts, and most of the stuff we've been doing is more on the boring side. So we did get the motor mounts on and that kind of stuff, which is pretty cool, but um, we basically just finished up the clutch system as far as the pedal and master goes. Uh, we wrapped the harnesses, tucked them. I'm still working on getting some of those tucked. And uh, actually today my crank and cam sensors came in perfect timing. We got those thrown in and torqued up. And uh, the biggest issue that we had yesterday was we were missing O-rings for the sicky pan. They didn't include them uh, for the filter relocation. We got that squared away and then we also got the um, dipstick hole. Um, the OEM one just goes through the side of the block. Uh, the sicky pan has its own dipstick. So that needs uh, basically filled. We just got high temp epoxy, put a bolt in there, filled it. So that's looking good. We can go ahead and throw the pan on. So that's gonna be next. We're gonna throw this pan on and then the engine's actually ready to get the transmission and clutch system on. I'm hoping this is where I really pick up and uh, it's gonna be sick if we can get this dropped in today. I know we can, the car's ready for it and uh, I'm getting pretty excited, but man, am I tired. Like we literally slept in here yesterday, but sorry about the video being all over the place, but there's not a whole lot I can do. I only have two hands and look at them pretty dirty. You have to point both down uh, but this is OEM, and then this is all aftermarket right here, and this line too. Uh, so this will go to the pump apparently, and so will this. Now, I'm gonna probably have to work on the power steering setup for sure. In fact, I don't even have a power steering pump, so we're gonna have to get to that at a later date, but I'm sure we can do it with the engine in. I'm just really focused on getting this engine in. Not trying to rush it either. We've been at this for probably close to 20 hours. Just kind of cleaning things up, going through it, so. All right guys, so the oil pan is fully on and bolted in, as well as all these little plugs of stuff that we're not gonna use. So we are actually good to drop this into the car. Obviously we're gonna be attaching it to the transmission first, but the engine is done. So that is a huge, huge, huge accomplishment for this weekend. Very happy with how all this came out. All right, so we got the uh, Mickey Thompsons on the rear finally. I got the valve stems in. So these are all good to go. I can't wait to throw these on. We're gonna have to do some major fender rolling, but guys, they look speechless they look freaking crazy so i can't wait to get these on we're gonna have to just forget about them for now oh my these are some thick boys for sure now these are used tires but they still have pretty good life left and they look freaking crazy they fit this wheel really good this is a 19 by 11 these are a 305 tire so i figured they would fit pretty good but that is like a1 these are looking absolutely crazy they got the meats on them should get traction have no issues with traction the only issues we're gonna have with these wheels are trying to get them on the car. Uh, right now, these are a 10 and a half, uh, 19 by 10 and a half. Don't mind that horrific sound. <laughs> these are 19 by 10 and a half um, on a 255. And I mean, these are already pushing it. So we're really gonna have to dial in the fitment with the rears and also with these fronts, really gonna have to dial that in too. Um, but we're gonna focus on that when the Genesis is actually on the lift, which we're gonna have to move the Vic and stuff. But I'm not putting on the lift till the engine and trans are in because that's when we really need it. Uh, I'm thinking we're just gonna swap the engine and trans while it's on jack stands, just to make things easier. So as of right now, the engine is drop in ready. Um, got some of the things on that need to be on. Everything is on that needs to be on to bolt it in. 
Still need some other things, but this is good to go. So what we're gonna have to do is just take this off the stand and we're gonna have to put the clutch system on the back of this. Now I did get the oil filter relocation bracket for the AC. Um, this all looks good. I might have to get a different filter just so it doesn't hit anything, but everything is looking good. I do need longer uh, lines for that, but we are gonna get those sickies taking care of that, so. All in all, engine wise, we're looking really good. That is completely ready to throw in the car. The car is ready for it. All the harnesses are wrapped. Everything's tucked out of the way. So we're good to go, except for one thing. I was getting the trans ready to attach it to the motor. Um, and I realized that I don't have the fitting here that takes this quick disconnect to an AN fitting. So we're gonna have to order this fitting. So unfortunately the engine and trans are not going in this weekend. So unfortunately you're gonna have to wait till next video, but we are gonna be installing the new fitting on here, getting this ready. And I did just throw the GTO style shifter cup in a while, just cause I had some free time. Um, we're gonna get this sticky shifter on here soon. Uh, just gonna have to clean this off and get it mounted up. And other than that, it's literally just the fitting holding us back. Um, unless I can get one sooner than a week or so, we're gonna have to wait. Just a little sneak peek on what you're gonna see in future videos too. Uh, we got the Terminator X screen. This is the three and a half inch screen, the handheld one. Um, we're gonna use the old head unit bracket frame and kind of make a little housing for it, make it pretty cool. Um, but we're gonna get into that later because that is not of interest right now. The interest is trying to get the motor and trans in and we're so close, so freaking close, but it's just not quite there yet. So unfortunately, I'm gonna drop it there. Um, thank you guys for watching and tuning in to yet another video. Hopefully this video was pretty okay, but we're gonna definitely have to throw a banger out. Um, we're throwing a banger out for sure because when this goes in It's just gonna be cool. So anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys for watching again Please like comment subscribe. I appreciate the support you guys are amazing. So let's get this thing wrapped up man It's been all over a year. So next weekend We should be able to get the engine and trans in but we'll see. Thanks again guys. Peace